There's probably, a th say, a thousand places in the world that launch radio sounds maybe twice a day. There's probably, a th say, a thousand places in the world that launch radio sounds maybe twice a day. Uh, and it might just be a little operational site that launches a balloon and has a, um, a, a weather station, and that's it. And so those are usually in support of airports and um, air forces and things like that, but they're peppered sort of around the world. What Gruen does is it offers a higher standard, kind of a, a backbone that can set the standard for all of these other operational sites. So we are the only uh, Gruen site in the Southern Hemisphere. Eventually there might be same, some 20 or 30 uh, around the world that will hopefully bring up the standard of all of these other operational sites. Well, uh, an ozone zone like this here, we launch them once a week, and they've been launched from Lauder since 1986. They're launched on a large balloon. The balloon starts about, about this big, and then it floats up to 30 kilometers above, above Lauder, but kind of going towards Christchurch direction. Now that's the typical winds. And so at that height, at 30 kilometers, the balloon will be uh, oh, maybe even as five meters across, and then the balloon will eventually burst. Five meters across, and then the balloon will eventually burst, and the package, this thing here, which is about a, a kilogram, um, it's attached to a parachute, and then the idea is this will safely be brought back to the ground. This one here was actually found um, by a local uh, person in a, found in a paddock and it was launched uh, a week ago. So we do tend to get some of our instruments back but only maybe 20%. Most of them they go out to, uh, to the ocean. Um, so we launched these ozone zones to 
be an actual measurement of ozone, an in situ measurement. At Lauder, we have lots of different instruments that measure ozone, measure um, with remote sensing techniques. Uh, some of them look at the sun and they look at absorption. Some of them look at the emission of the atmosphere in uh, microwave uh, frequencies. Some of them measure profiles. Some of them measure total columns. There's a mixed bag of all the different types of uh, measuring techniques. This is the one uh, technique that actually measures the ozone where it is. measuring techniques. This is the one uh, technique that actually measures the ozone where it is.